Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. Um, Evan Hafer, I have a question for you. Yeah. I, I heard a story. You, you, you can tell me if this is true. You did something for the National Football League, and they were not happy with the word rifle in the title for your company. <laughs> is that true? Yeah, that's true. So evidently, rifle is an obscenity oh, to God. the NFL, so they, oh, they wouldn't allow us to, to put Black Rifle Coffee Company and a full page ad in basically the 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 handout for the NFL that's or for the Super that's Bowl. That's crazy to me because Daniel Defense has actually had a Super Bowl ad for the, the last two years. Yeah, uh, but but I will say this: so there was a story that just pops about an hour ago in Army Times. Uh, Amvets officials are decrying a corporate censorship from the NFL yeah. um, for the decision not to run a Super Bowl ad, which says hashtag Please Stand, asking the players to stand. Um, I, is that a against veterans solely is that against guns what, what is that against exactly no i think that it's it's a person that's uh screening material because ultimately you know i i think there's a there's a lot of coverage specifically related to the nfl they have reduced viewership i think a lot of people understand that the nfl is trying to win back portions of the population in order to get people back in seats and behind their tvs uh this is their attempt at creating a increased viewership in the nfl because they're they're maybe seeing hey the we're we're already creating head injuries at a fucking such a large degree, and we're gonna bury our heads in the sand and pretend that it doesn't fucking exist, and that we don't create TBI and a bunch of other bullshit, right? We're gonna pretend that <laughs> no. doesn't exist. We're already a nonprofit that you know nonprofit. Like, yeah. does everybody wow. understand yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it's a total fucking what bag else? of shit. Yeah. As these guys are like oh, raking in fucking billions of dollars and getting fucking tax subsidies from communities and cities, like hardworking people. And ultimately, what 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 they're doing is they're trying to censor companies in order to increase viewership because they're fucking circling the drain comparatively. Yeah. And what what we have to put into perspective is, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go watch hockey. That's what the fuck. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Or uh, because because yeah, I got Vegas Golden Knights. I got a I got a boner on that, Evan. That was good. Yes, that was yeah. amazing. Yeah. Was it freedom. was it Graham? Was it Graham worthy? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna be out That's of That's who you need nice. on your fucking with. show is, is Evan because no, it, if there's a ranter I have nothing, ever met, it's Evan. You and him in a fucking car. It's nothing. Oh, nothing will get me on a tangent. Jerry Seinfeld's got comedians in cars getting coffee. Yes. Veterans in cars getting coffee. Black Rifle would be the greatest thing of all yeah, time. Better we should just get oh, like yeah. the Sonic where commercial get where, where, where you're like <laughs> sitting there like the Sonic guys at the drive-thru or something and then just, just start just going. Uh, that, that, you want to talk about going by the internet would melt That's down. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, yes. I, I, nothing. Veterans in cars getting nothing coffee would be the greatest thing ever. Nothing pisses me off more than the freaking NFL anything at this current moment right now. <laughs> yeah. Just anything they do. Anytime Roger Goodell opens his mouth or has that little twitch thing with his eye he does is the, 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 like at the end of the day man the, these guys are are all about the dollar yeah. like that's the only thing they give a flying fuck about and as long as people understand that they don't give a fuck about the players they don't give a fuck about anything else but increasing their margin by slight percentages yeah and hundred grand did, a snap yeah, yeah. If, if they if, if people would just kind of wake up to that and say this is all about the dollar it's not about the athletes these not are the guys the that are these are the guys that are sacrificing anything. their bodies on the field like modern day fucking gladiators and I'm not trying to like dramatize it but and then the NFL is basically giving them the stiff arm saying oh we're not sure if that's related go fuck yourself yeah, yeah. exactly like, you should be opening up fucking clinics in every city like increasing anything that they can and to do anything for the trauma that they've caused because these guys are are laying back with absolute like Scrooge McDuck Scrooge McDuck type wealth. Yeah, yeah. And Swimming it's not like pennies. they can't fucking afford it. That's no. the thing that bothers me. But they know if they give an inch, yeah, that the whole fucking dam is going to break. Yeah. They yeah. know it's it. All coming down. They fucking know it. And Roger Goodell recently last week just signed a, a fifty million dollar a year extension. Well, of course he did. Yeah. Why? 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 Why, why not? I, Why which, not? Which of course, Roger Goodell does that. Pure insanity yeah. to me. Pure insanity I mean, to me. One of the most. Mm. You're gonna feel free. Yeah, Fire no, I, away. I just, I just don't understand. One, one. First and foremost, you are the boss of the NFL, right? Yeah. Put your 
foot down, make a decision, be a leader, actually stand up for what you know the vast majority of Americans want the NFL to stand for in the first place. Like you said, you're, we're paying our hard-earned money, people trying to save up so they don't you know, have to not pay the electric bill so they can come to your freaking stadium in the first place. And then you're gonna That is there. their biggest mistake. 86% of the United States of America is Christian fucking yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. Like, you just alienated your, your majority. Your whole yeah. everything. <laughs> yeah. So guess what? That's why you're suffering. Yeah. Fucking and also, and this comes from somebody that does political stuff an awful lot, but it's just like you said, we go to these events to not have to think about political BS here, political BS that, Democrat, Republican, Independent, it doesn't matter. We're there to watch people play football. Football game. We're there paying your salaries, your lights, your cars, your mansions, your this and that, so you can entertain us with the the spectacle of the physical everything of football and, and, and you're ruining it and you're taking it away from us because you don't have the balls to make a decision as a leader and that just it just drives me insane. I don't think it's going to go. We just had a live Graham Allen. Oh, this wow. Is a rant. Live Allen. Allen.